Cinco de Mayo es esta semana. El mío será sabroso when this old man cooks. Welcome to Kitchen Kingdom, where this old man throws down to chow down. In this episode, I am going to prepare tequila lime chicken with a cucumber pear salsa. I'm also going to roast some corn and peppers and fry avocado. So let's get ready to rattle some pots and pans. Now for the salsa, what you're going to need is 1 8 cup of balsamic vinegar that's been infused with pomegranate. You're going to need 1 quarter cup of coconut oil, as much of the rest of ingredients as you want. So I have my cucumber, my red onion, my tomatoes, my pear, and some cilantro. So what we want to do is just get our ingredients in there. And this pear can be very sweet. So you might want to do it sparingly but you have acidic here in the tomato and the acidic in the balsamic vinegar. And that'll take care of that sweetness. But the balsamic vinegar is not sweet. So we're just gonna give it a little stir. Now you don't wanna hit this with any salt because that will make both the tomato and the cucumber and probably the pear as well leach out its fluids. So you want to take your balsamic vinegar Go ahead and continue stirring. And take your oil. And now you want to take the cilantro. This is going to brighten it up. We want to get this in a non reactive bowl and get it in the refrigerator to chill. This is going to be one of many videos that I'm going to be using kitchen gadgets, old and new. Remember this baby right here? This is probably like the 2.0 version of the George Foreman grill, but it still works, so I'm gonna use it. We're gonna let this get up to temperature, and then we're gonna put our chicken on. Now that our grill is up to temperature, I gave it a little spray of nonstick. And we're going to put these chicken breasts that I had marinating in moho. You can use any marinade you want. Just place them right there. Put that top down and let it do its thing. In the meantime, we can start the reduction sauce. want to do for your reduction sauce is get yourself a baking sheet and you want to take some tomato I'm using Roma they're cut like about so we're going to take some coconut oil and generously bathe them next thing we are going to do is I have some chili infused salt you can get these finishing salts at your favorite spice place now I'm going to generously add some cayenne so we take our cilantro and just put it on here and we're going to bake these babies off at about 450 degrees for about 30 minutes the first part of our tequila lime reduction sauce is the tequila don't use your best tequila for this you just want to pour as much in there as you think you want let the alcohol burn away and when the tomatoes are ready, we're going to incorporate the tomatoes into the reduced tequila and then introduce our lime. Now we're going to do the corn using only the oil that the garlic was roasted in. We're just going to put a little bit in the pan. 
and let it come up to temperature. Now the only thing we have for this is our tricolor peppers. We also have some green chili peppers we're gonna to add to this as well as the roasted garlic. You're gonna put your peppers in as much as you want. I think I'm just gonna leave them as this. I'm gonna take them off the heat. And now I'm going to start the corn. Now for the fried avocado, what you're going to need is two cups of self-rising flour. I put half of a tablespoon of turmeric. Mix that up real well. Also, I have one cup of corn flour, which I put half a tablespoon of baking powder in. We also have our avocado. Now, this is avocado that's not quite ripe. You cannot do this with an avocado that's ripe or even in a remote way soft. We also have two beaten eggs and some cold water. So, we're going to start mixing the batter. We'll take our beaten eggs. Mix that in with the self rising flour and the turmeric. We're just going to start gradually adding our cold water. Now you just add enough to where you feel that the batter is loose and or thick enough. So we're just gonna dredge them in the cornmeal. Meanwhile, the oil is getting up to temperature. We're going to fry these at four and a quarter. We're gonna take them, dip them in the batter. Get some of it rub off. Run off. And then into the panko. And from there, they go into the hot oil. Okay, we have our oil up to temperature. And we're going to add our avocado. We're going to let that fry to a golden brown. Place it on a plate with a paper towel. Treat it to some finishing salt, and then we'll plate up. We are ready for plate up. I'm going to begin with just laying down the reduction sauce. That's the tequila lime reduction sauce. Now I'm going to put some of our roasted veggies, the corn with the tricolor peppers, and the garlic with some green chilies in it. Then I'm going to place our fried avocado. And now, the star of the show, our lovely chicken. With a topping of our pear and cucumber salsa. Let's chow down. 